Hello everyone, I am here today to do a book review. Yes, first book review of um, March. I know it is a little bit late. The top two picks for the reviews that everybody wanted was The Summoning and I keep wanting to say The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, but it's The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I do not know why, <laughs> but um, I'm doing them. Now, Daughter of Smoke and Bone and The Abundance of Catherine tied for first, but everyone, I'm just going to tell you right now, I gave up on this book. I did not like it at all. It was just didn't catch me, and so I if I my rule is if I don't like it in the first hundred pages, I'm just gonna not read it because there's just no point. I'm gonna take forever for me to finish it. Now, to all you John Green lovers out there, I have not lost faith at all. I'm hoping that I will like his Paper Towns and Looking for Alaska. I'm sure I will. This one just did not strike my fancy. So, moving on. Today we are reviewing The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. This is about a girl named Chloe who has um. She used to have a normal life. She's um, her mom um died when she was young, so she lives with her dad. And her dad travels frequently. She goes to this nice art boarding school in um, I'm gonna say Boston, maybe something like that. But then all of a sudden she sees this ghost, and I guess when she sees this ghost, she starts to um, freak out. And so she gets sent away to this place called Lyle House for like troubled teens. Um, and you know she, she thinks she's gonna be there for a couple weeks. Her aunt put her there. You know she's like, you know, I know you're okay. La la la. But pretty much that's what the story is about, the premise of it. I'm chewing gum, so I just want to take that out. Nobody look. Okay, anyway. <coughs> I always say anyway. Why do I say anyway all the time? Um, when Chloe starts to go there, she starts to... When Chloe starts to go into Lyle House, she starts to notice that these kids are not just troubled teens. They have problems similar to her own as well. They also like, she sees ghosts but other of them, one girl has a fire thing she can start, another one can move things with his flick of his fingers and stuff like that. One of them is like a, um, I can't tell you exactly what he is yet, but he's got like super strength and stuff like that. And the other one, I don't really know what her like power is. But um, I really like this book, I gotta say. It was a very, a very slow start for me. I felt very conflicted going into it because I was like, this book's really not that good to me. But it didn't start picking up until the middle of the book, I would say. The middle of the book, that's when I finished it, like, in a day. Like, I was like, oh, wow, this is a really, really good book, so I can finish it. But that's the con I have about it. It was a very slow at the beginning, so it took me a while to get through it. Because I know they had to build up everything, but I'm just like, mm, not that good. But overall, it was a really good book. I really liked the plot and everything. I liked the characters. There is more romance in it. I do wish that because I'm a romance girl, so I like to see a little bit of romance. But in this book, I felt we got like this much. Like, I don't feel like it was barely any at all, which is okay. Books are different. Not every author has to have a love and stuff. That's their prerogative. But I'm just one that likes it. <laughs> but, you know, I did like it, though. So we have Chloe. She's a very strong-willed girl. I like her because... She thinks very well. Like she, I know it sounds really like vague. She thinks really well, but um, she just she's an art student, so she studies movies and she critiques movies. So she's always thinking, you know, what would the character in the movie do? Like what if we're gonna take her life? Well, how are we gonna do it into a movie sequence? You know, and she struggles with her ghost seeing at first. She's thinking, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna get over this. It's not real and all. And she starts to learn that you know, this is real. Like this is I can really see them. She encounters two brothers, their foster brothers, named Simon and Derek, and um, they're, Simon's more charismatic and happy, while Derek is very sulk and sullen, and I actually like Derek more than Simon, I gotta admit, because I feel like he was a very strong character, and he took charge, and he was a man of few words, but he knew what words he was gonna say. I thought that he was gonna be like a, a villain somehow in this book, but he definitely is not, but um... Overall, he was, um, like, I liked him. Like, I just felt like he was a good, strongish guy. And, huh, the spoiler at the end for him, I was like, oh, my goodness. I knew it was something like that the whole, all along, but it confirmed it for me. I'm kind of, I'm trying to keep this very spoilerish review and very, very short. But, overall, I really do like the book. And, um, I didn't love it. I wasn't obsessed with it. So I'm going to give it a three out of five stars because I felt like the, the beginning was very empty and just, you know. But I do definitely recommend picking up this. I have a my remote in here. From the, I do recommend picking this up. This is a trilogy, so um, the next one I believe is called The Awakening, which is right here. So I definitely I can't wait to read the next one. Actually, I'm like I'm really stoked to go read it. But my my sequel shelf was piling up. 
but I'm, I, I know this is such a crappy review. I don't know. Like, there's some books I could feel like I could do good reviews on. There's some I feel like I cannot. This one I feel like is just one of those books I'm really not doing a good review on. But I'm just gonna give you guys what I know, what I like, and all that stuff. Um, the characters were great in this book. I really like that it had a very good adventures, adventures to it. Um, just get through the beginning because the beginning's quite slow in my opinion. And um, you all think you'll think it's a great book because I thought it was a great book. Um, if you guys have read this book, let me know what your thoughts are. All right, that's it for me. So have an amazing day and a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.